This is There is a Longing, number 6.15, from the Celebrating Song. Um, Greg D'Souza hey. and Stefan Beardwood. And the idea of this video is to show you what can be done with more than one guitar. Mm -hmm. So notice yeah. Stefan hasn't got a capo on, playing a D minor with open strings. And I've got uh, the capo on, and you've seen those parts of the videos. Now we're going to put it together. Yeah. Should we start right at the top, Stefan? I should also mention this was uh, written by Ann Quigley. Yes, written by Ann Quigley. So what I'm doing is I'm mostly arpeggiating and I'm suggesting melody. I'm not playing the entire melody. Now, I, I can go just about any place. I can go in from root. I can uh, simply do... Or I just choose to use this D minor for myself because when my, my fingers had surgery, so I'm looking for my clarity of notes as well. So I'm choosing to go up here and then work down. Uh, for the most part, really what I'm doing is playing chords, selecting chords on where they are located on the neck, and then uh, arpeggiating and wherever those chords are, where there is a melody note, I'll highlight it and bring out the accent so that it, I'm adding to that little overall melody flavor. And that's about it. So this is in the key of D minor, one flat. Uh, guitars don't like flats a whole lot. So it's, it's easier to put this in a capo and use the A minor form of the chord. So if I had barred my finger here and put an A minor, that's a D minor chord. Now because I have a capo, I don't need that anymore. So the chords are D minor in an A minor form, G minor in a D minor form, a C chord in a G form. This is the note C. Um, and an F chord in a C form, and then B flat in an F form. And I believe those are all the chords I'm playing. And the melody, the notes, will just find themselves right into our hands when we play those chords in this position. 
So the first melody note I want is the open A, which is taken care of by the capo. So I, I like a nice bass. And then I, 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 I do this claw three times, so not just playing the one note, but playing the whole thing. Then I change to the G minor, but I leave this open because I want the A. B flat, G, F, and then we go to uh, a C chord in a G form, and I want this note G right here in my third finger at the eighth fret, and then I go to an F in a C form, and I want the open A, and then the F. Now I go to a B flat in the F form, and I pick up this third, this D. F, and then I go back to my G minor in the D minor form. And I want that G. And sometimes I do, do a little bit of a um, parallel six. Again, it repeats. under here to get this D and back to our D minor and then the chord of uh, the verse again I start with a bass you can do two notes to, and then come up bring bring out the melody note or you can just do a bass whatever you choose to do I would keep it the same so if you start off going a bass keep it if you keep if you do this so either way if you, you can keep it or alternate it's, it's up to you so very much like before a and then a b flat Seventh or F major seventh with the high A. 